All right, in this video, we're going to do the outer ring of a ball bearing. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, we've already drawn the ball. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is draw the outer ring to that ball. And I'm going to choose a 1.5. And here's our ring. Now all we need to do is extrude our ring. So we want to go to model, extrude, select our ring. Now it doesn't need to be a full inch extruded because the ball is only 0.45 of an inch. So at the most, maybe a 0.5, maybe a 0.55. Now to play it safe, I'm going to go with a 0.55. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to choose a plane. I'm going to choose one of these two planes. And I am now going to go to View, Slice Graphics so that I can see the inside of the ring. Go back to Sketch. Project geometry. This will allow me to use the uh, part to put lines down because normally it won't allow me to put a line or it won't let me tangent to a line. But over here, I can tangent. So I'm going to tangent my line to the center of the ring. And I'm going to come out 0.1. I'm going to grab a circle and right here at the edge of this line we'll put the center of the circle and go 0.45 now I think that's a bit much or I don't think it's far enough out so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here we're going to go 0.15 hit enter go back to my circle 0.45 that looks a little bit better so we'll get rid of all this and the next step is we have these two giant yellow lines we want to find the midpoint of one of them and connect it to the midpoint of the other and that's basically creating a center point of the ring and you'll see why here in a sec let me so you've got this sketch here, we're in model, so we want to hit revolve. We're going to revolve this, and we're going to hit the axis button, and we're going to choose this line as our axis, if I can get it to select. Now it created a giant bubble, we don't want a bubble, we want it to cut. So we're going to hit the cut button, which is this middle one here, we're hit OK. Now you can see we have a giant uh, path for the ball to follow on the inside on the inside of this ring. Now this is the outer ring to the ball bearing. Now from here you can do whatever you want. You can put your company name here on the side, or you can put it on the outside of the ring. Now I wouldn't recommend putting it on the outside of the ring because it's generally what it's going to attach the ring to something else. Okay, something usually goes on the outside of the ring to hold the ring still. Then you have the rest of your ball bearing and the shaft going through the ball bearing. So now I've already saved this part to the file that it needs to be in. So I'm just going to hit save. Basically, you want to hit save as save it as whatever you want wherever you want it just remember where you saved it now we can close this part out see I still have plenty of time so I'm going to do new and standard IDW and it's going to be basically the same thing that we did with the ball okay we're going to let inventor load Okay, I'm going to come over here to Sheet. I'm going to hit 
edit sheet. Now you can choose whatever size you want. I'm going to use a size A and I'm going to set it to portrait. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go to base, search. Now this isn't where I want to be. As you can see, I'm doing multiple drawings. So I'm going to select the outer ring. Okay. This is because I'm working out of two different projects. So I'm going to select the base point. Bring this up. Give me my isometric view. I'm going to right click and create. Now I didn't put a view over here because it's basically going to be the same as this one. But what I am going to do is I'm going to hit selection view. Come down here. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hit the bottom quadrant of the circle and drag a line to the top quadrant. Then I'm going to right click, continue, and I'll bring this over this way. Now it's not giving me... Okay, there we go. Now I don't like how close this lettering is to the title box, so I'm going to grab this drawing and move it up. I'm going to grab this one, make the space even. Okay, now basically what this view is, is if we cut along this line right here, and we looked at the center of the ring, this is what it would look like. Okay, and the reason for this is to help whoever is making the part realize what they're looking at. Now that this ISO view or this 2D view that looks three-dimensional, this is supposed to do the same thing. It's supposed to help them understand what they're looking at. But then again, this view also helps as well. So it's common practice to put this in here when this view and this view will end up looking the same. So check out my next video. I'll be doing the outer ring, or excuse me, I just did the outer ring. I'll be doing the inner ring and I should upload both of these videos today. So, check out the next video then.